Don't make your living selling other people's books when you're trying to write your own. It seems brilliant at first. Immerse yourself in your craft, get a sense for what's popular, gather moments of inspiration from the unassuming corners of the world. But immersing yourself in anything eventually takes its toll. think a recurring nightmare would eventually get less, I don't know, nightmarish? I need to take a break, get out of this room for a bit. Hasn't been the most successful sales trip so far, but hey, this town might want the whole pile. Small town hotel art at its ugliest. Seems appropriate that I'm staying in a room as disheveled as I am. Can't imagine plants last long in here. Judging by the state of my room, I don't want to see this one. Healthier than the one in my room, I'll give it that much. There are more cigarette butts on the floor than there are in here. There are more cigarette... I think I passed by this view on my way into town. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. Not sure if anyone's staying in this room. Town maps. Don't see any maps, though. <clears throat> uh, hello? <clears throat> I know you. Harvey Green, uh, room three? Um, do you have a map of town I can borrow? Hmm, that's odd. People don't usually ask for maps? You're not in the book. Uh, maybe the morning guy forgot to add me when I checked in. Yeah, maybe. So, map? On the stand behind you. Stands empty. Well then, guess I'm out of maps. Guess so. Thanks. No problem. Well, if it isn't the traveling writer, welcome to Villa Ventano. Have we met? Oh, no. But I saw your suitcase full of books burst open on your way into the hotel. And since it sounds like you are indeed a writer, you simply must meet Oswaldo. Who's Oswaldo? Oh, a most charming and riveting storyteller. The life of every party he attends. In fact, he lives just a few doors down from here. Uh, thanks, miss. I'll drop by. Do tell him Gladys says hello. You're looking elegant. Maybe too elegant for a place like this. Oh, I know, dear. 
Sadly, this filthy excuse for a hotel happens to be the only one for miles. Give it a rest, Gladys. I'll give it a rest when you learn how to brew a halfway decent cup of tea. <sighs> Crazy old bag. You love me. <laughs> Where are you visiting from? Oh, about five blocks, give or take. You live here? Why are you staying in a hotel? Young man, vacationing is about mindset, not distance. You've traveled much farther than me to be here, but are you on vacation? Uh, good point. Take care. Locked. Not my bags. They're much too nice. The evening air is perfect. I'll give the town that much. It's propped up against an old hitching post. I haven't heard any trains so far. I wonder if this is abandoned. Ah, oh, hey there, little fella. Where are you off to? Welcome to Villa Ventana, your window to a better life. Window? I feel like a door would be more helpful. Whoa! What the hell was that? No way. I don't know what that creature was, and I don't want to find out. No way. I don't... Welcome to Villa Ventana, your window to a better life. Old neglected barrels and crates. Radio drama. Haven't heard of this one. And what role will recent arrival Harvey Green play in these troubling events? Wait, what? Hey, who's in there? How do you know my name? Oswaldo? This isn't funny. I'm going inside. Hello? This looks abandoned. Or worse. Wait a second, so who's listening to the radio? And where is the radio? Sounds like it's coming from in there. Uh, it's locked. Why? Did Oswaldo board up his own windows? Why? Doesn't sound like the radio's in there. Doesn't sound... Uh, I think it's broken. The wall is covered in newspaper clippings, pictures, and scribbles. But why is there a crossword puzzle in the middle here? And what are these paper scraps stuck around it? The remaining letters spell Telltale Heart. In that story, the narrator hides a body under the floor. I hope Oswaldo didn't consider that a source of inspiration.
This place is a complete mess. And that's saying something coming from me. The remaining letters spell Telltale Heart. In that story, the narrator hides a body under the floor. I hope Oswaldo didn't consider that a source of inspiration. Hello? Oswaldo? The front door was open. Is everything okay? Besides the stranger in your house, I mean. There's a crease in the corner of the rug, as if it's been folded up recently. Am I really going to look under there? I have to, right? Huh? Something down there is reflecting light from the window. It's a key. Who locks a running radio inside their desk? This looks like it fits. Stop right there. Don't move. Good God, what the hell's going on in here? Who are you? What's your name? My name is Harvey Green. I'm in town for business. I'm staying over at the... What business? Uh, books. I sell books. I have a card in my pocket. Uh, can I... Slowly. What's all this on the wall? What have you been doing? Nothing. No, I, I, I don't know what any of this is. Bullshit. It's true. Some of the newspaper clippings on the wall over there are from months ago. I didn't even know this town existed until the company added it to my route last week. Let's say I believe you. Why are you in here? A woman at the hotel suggested I meet Oswaldo. Describe her. Older, dressed like she was at the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> That's Gladys, all right. Mr. Green, do you have any knowledge of Oswaldo's current whereabouts? No, Sheriff. Then I have a missing person on my hands. <sighs> Listen to me. I don't know what the hell's going on in this room. I do know that if people caught wind, it'd cause a town-wide panic. So you and I are going to make a deal. I let you walk straight back to your hotel, and you tell no one about what you saw. Say a word or skip town, and I personally escort you to a jail cell. Do we understand each other? Yes, Sheriff. Good. Now get out of here. Shit, shit. Breaking into a house? What was I thinking? Am I losing it? No, I swear I heard my name coming from in there. I didn't imagine it. I couldn't have. And even if I did, I couldn't have imagined all that other stuff I saw in there. I, I can't just sit in here and ignore it. For starters, this is the only interesting thing that's happened in months. <coughs> My nerves are too shot to sleep. Seems appropriate that I'm staying in a room as disheveled as I am. Can't see much at this hour. Judging by the state of my room, I don't want to see this one. Not going in there. Bad enough that I share a wall with it. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. Yeah. No, they don't want to be disturbed. Thank you. 
still locked. Not sure why I'd do that. He doesn't seem too keen on chatting. Good evening, officer. Evening, mister. Oh, uh, I don't believe we've met. My name's ha uh, Hugo. Victor Hugo. I'm a tourist. A tourist? Huh. We don't get many of those. Well, welcome to Villa Ventana, Mr. Hugo. Stay out of trouble and all that. Well, uh, what happened in there? I'm afraid I can't comment on that, Mr. Hugo. Scene's still under investigation. As in crime scene? Well, that's what the sheriff's gonna figure out in the morning. Ugh, I probably shouldn't have said that even. An enormous creature jumped out at me at the edge of the woods. Ha! <laughs> First time in deer country, Mr. Hugo. This was no deer. It was brown. Like a deer. Totally silent. Like a deer. You don't understand. It. Relax, Mr. Hugo. You're not the first to get spooked. I promise the deer will leave you alone if you give them the same courtesy. Is it safe for me to be out at this hour? Are you keeping out of the crosswalk over there? Uh, yes. Then you're fine. What's so dangerous about it? I wish I knew. Almost every time we're called out, it's because some pedestrian got hit. Stay safe. Just a typical mailbox. Huh, it's a whole mannequin. A little beat up, but it's in one piece. Maybe I could clean it up and sell it. Looks like it's locked from the inside. Sumptuous garments for the discerning elitist. It's closed. Old, ne old neglected barrels and crate. He doesn't seem too keen on chatting. Enjoying your stay, dear. Take care. Not my bags. They're much too nice. Still locked.
This guest wouldn't mind a bit of tidying, right? It's full of cleaning supplies. The housekeeper's cleaning up in there. Clean and dry. Let's see. Ooh, some of these are sharp. Might help me close a sail or two while I'm here. These are all still wet. Very wet. They're for washing clothes. Any loose change? <sighs> nope. It's the hotel's furnace. Given it's July, it probably hasn't been on for a while. The mannequins dress better than I am. Not sure why I'd do that. This should look like the real deal to that cop. Here goes nothing. Shit! Shit! That wasn't supposed... Oh, God, what have I... I... I, I know this man. From my... Oh, good lord! Did you see what happened, Mr. Hugo? I... I, I didn't. I, I heard a crash, and, um... This damn crosswalk! Sign's useless! Get back to your hotel, Mr. Hugo. I'll call an ambulance. Yes, officer. If I keep it down, hopefully he won't even realize I'm in here. The radio should still be in that desk. Time to take a look. Who locks a running radio inside their desk? There it is. And it's turned off? How? Whatever, I need to find that station. No light, no shadows, Oswaldo. No light, no shuttles. No light, no shuttles. No light, no... Coming up next. You are next. No, it's happening. I have to warn Lena. Uh, what did I just... That was him. He was right in front of me, and, and that thing just took him. What did you find, Oswaldo? Oswaldo's diary. 
Hmm. There's several references to a Lena. Must be the same Lena he mentioned in that vision. Wherever she is, I have to find her. I imagine it'll be easier than finding Oswaldo. Did the radio cause my vision of Oswaldo? How? That seems pointless. Hmm, no. Did the radio cause my vision of... Pretty boring assortment of magazines, especially given what's in the other room. Old, tattered, and crusty. Classic bathroom sink. Ugh. I think it's broken. The sweet, sweet. It Evening, friend. Care for a motor tour? Motor tour? Like a regular tour, but with a little something extra. You mean a motorcycle? Bingo! Do you know a person named Lena? Lena? Hmm, maybe rings a bell. Don't think I've met her. Okay, thanks. What's the tour route? Right up Ventana Hill. Killer views up there, along with our observatory. And then back down, I assume? Oh, walking back down's half the fun. It's the getting up there part that needs a little extra horsepower. I'm good for now. You're missing out. I'm usually booked solid on an evening this nice.
It's just as cluttered as the shelves. A complete mess of books, binders, and historical artifacts. A complete mess of... It's just as cluttered as the shelves. If this room uses an organizational system, I'm not seeing it. It's just as cluttered as the shelves. It's a dusty wax statue of some old leader. The town's founder, maybe. Ugh. Sticking to my finger. I'm surprised it hasn't melted. Chanti. It's the first construction paper settlers arriving in construction paper Villa Ventana. An old treasure map. Maybe this town used to be a pirate refuge. Historical documents from the town's early years. Letters and contracts and the like. Wonder if they're replicas or the real deal. Restrooms for city employees only. What? No, I don't need to use the restroom. Then why on earth did you come in here? I'm looking for the address of... Credentials? I beg your pardon? All requests from municipal residential data require valid authentication from the requesting party. Um, I beg your pardon again? <sighs> I need proof that you're allowed to view town housing records. So, you got proof or not? Oh, I, uh, left it at home. I I'll be back. I'm sure you will. Don't let the door hit you. What do you have? Yeah. Hey, is there a woman in town named Lena? Lena? Oh, sure. I don't see her too often. She's a vegetarian. Do you know where she lives? Sure don't. Someone over there in City Hall should, though. Right. Thanks. Isn't it about time to wash that apron? Hell no. Gotta keep expectations low. If I look clean, the hot dogs look even filthier by comparison. Bye bye, hot dog man. Vino Ventana. Vino Ventana. If I had any money on me, this would be a great way to lose it. Cashing in or out? 
Cashing out? Very well. If I could have your chips. My chips? I must have left them at the table. I will be here when you return with them, sir. The upstairs must be reserved for the high rollers. If you aren't the one loading the dice, they're probably loaded against you. The upstairs must be reserved for the high rollers. Evening. Obviously. Randolph, don't be rude to the wino. He looks like he's had a rough life. How's the coffee? Mm, tepid, bitter, and cheap. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that. Don't be. That's how she likes it. Encouraging to see at least one person with a book. Sorry, pal. This whole part of town's under construction. Wow, that sounds like a pretty major development project. Tell me about it. Back again, eh? I told you, construction. Yes? My name is Harvey Green, and I'm a salesman with McGinty. I'd love to- McGinty? I don't recall their ever sending someone out this way. I believe they haven't, ma'am. I'm here to test the waters, so to speak. How are the waters, so far? Lukewarm. <laughs> Not surprised. Wouldn't say the neighboring towns are known for their readers. <laughs> You'd like to sell to me, then? Oh, why not, Mr. Graham? Green. Bring your samples along tomorrow, and I'll take a look. I appreciate it, Mrs... Oh, Pamela's fine. Pamela. All right, thank you. Was there anything else? I happen to be a bit of an author myself, and, uh... Oh, you must forgive me. It's been a long day. If you have something for me to read, could it wait until tomorrow? Oh, uh, right. Certainly. Feel free to browse. Tonight, local author Paul Frey reads from his latest novel. Daddy, I got your switch in. Decent selection, but a bit dated. Might actually be able to sell some books here. Tonight, local author Paul Frey reads from his latest novel. Yeah, for the draw, I'm not putting... You already had yogurt. Of course these are on sale. <laughs> Never even heard of most of them. Need something? Do you do anything special to bring people in? Oh, plenty. You'll notice the sale bins for starters. We yeah, also no have a couple of accomplished authors right here in Villa Ventana. 
I bring them in for readings and signings and the like. Tomorrow we'll be hosting Paul Frey. Ever heard of him? Real heady type. Feel free to browse. Encouraging to see at least one person with a book. You're back. Ready for a ride? All right, I'll do the tour. Great. Now, as to the small matter of payment. <laughs> I'm strapped at the moment. Any chance I could ride for free? By any chance, do you mean zero chance? Mm. Then no. Where does the tour go again? Top of Ventana Hills. You know where to find me. I wonder how long these have been coming soon. Ugh, I can smell it from here. I think I'll just look at it. Yeah, I need to put it down for good. Sorry, be careful. Drop any house for sale. Breaks, you know? It'll be that, that, on my phone. How do you want to be careful? Yeah. Open house today. Charmingly rustic cottage featuring old world charm and new world finance. Hello? Does any house in this town have people in it? This one does now. What the Fosco Moretti? Realtor. Licensed and accredited. And to whom do I have the pleasure of showing this magnificent piece of real estate? Oh, ho, ho, I am not in the market for a... Oh, ho, ho. Everybody's in the market, my friend. Some of us are just standing a little closer to the register. Your name? Uh, Harvey. Well, I have to say, Mr. Harvey, seeing you here in this immaculately tiled parlor, I see a man of purpose. Am I wrong? I have a job, if that's what you mean. Not a job, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> a calling, a yearning from within. You, Mr. Harvey, you aspire. I suppose I'm writing a... An author? My God, I stand in the presence of a modern-day Hemingway. You know he's still alive, right? Mr. Harvey, you must agree that every great writer requires an equally great writing environment. I, uh... Where do you currently do your writing? In cafes, mostly. Oh, cafes! Oh, boisterous, chaotic! How do you even put a single word to paper? 
No, no, that won't do at all. What an artist like you needs, Mr. Harvey, is a house. But not just any house. This house. This house? <laughs> okay, listen, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm definitely not buying this house, and I definitely don't want you assuming otherwise. I understand, Mr. Harvey. Thank you. You just need a little more time to see what I see. <sighs> Which is? That you and our sleepy little town are destined for each other. And when you come to that realization, I will be here. I promise you'll be the first to know. I guess the bar is a nice feature. Much more for you than for me. What do you mean? Your torso extends above it, for his eye. Someone left some lotions and cologne here. Guilty. A realtor must look and smell his best. Closet looks a little small. An optical illusion, Mr. Harvey, I assure you. This closet features no fewer than 200 cubic feet of space. I was almost inclined to list it as a second bedroom. <laughs> I guess you have more experience with closet sizes than I do. You flatter me, sir. It's covered. I'm afraid that's locked and empty. If it's empty, why is it locked? At the previous open house, a devilish little girl hid in there and promptly fell asleep. Had half the town out looking for her when she popped out looking right as rain. Can't say it's my style. The usual kitchen equipment. Ooh, oven seen better days. Works just the same. Heat is heat after all. I suppose that's true. A beat up old oven. If I go up there, the realtor will pester me even harder about buying. Please don't disturb the basket, Mr. Harvey. Those goods are reserved for the buyer, whoever she or he happens to be. It's a... Schlegelman upright, yes. Impeccable eye, Mr. Harvey. What gave it away? The understated, perfectly joined paneling? Or the iconic front legs? I was just going to say it's a piano. Ah, indeed it is, Mr. Harvey. Indeed it is. A bunch of picture frames with no pictures. Ready and waiting to hold and display your most cherished memories. I'm all ears, Mr. Harvey. Take your time.
I can't. The realtor's watching me like a hawk. Yeah. Looks like it's closed right now. I don't feel sick anyway. It sounds like something's. Nothing but garbage. Nothing but garbage. Evening, sir. Evening. Evening, chips. Goodbye. Mm. Tea at tea time. Mm. 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 Evening yet again, sir. Can I take a look around the grounds? I'm doing some sightseeing. At the moment? Absolutely not. However, in a few hours' time, the estate will host a soiree that is open to the public. If you care to explore, that will be the ideal and legal time to do so. Got it. Thank you. Evening yet... Well, what is this house? Sir, you stand at the majestic wrought iron gates of the Villa Ventana Sportsman Society. The what now? It's a hoity-toity hunting club. Looks like it's closed right now. I don't feel sick anyway. Chill, because every night you're eating so late. Ugh, I can see. Try not getting up so late. Wonder how long these have been coming soon. The sweet, sweet. It's closed. This room uses an organizational system? I'm not seeing it. It's a sticky wax statue of a town historic figure. It's a badly printed replica of the original town charter. Wait, did they really put don't eat the mushrooms in their founding document? It's a sticky wax statue of a town historic figure.
Doesn't sound like the radio's in there. Little touches like this help distract from all the stains. Not sure if anyone's staying in this room. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. You know a divorce lawyer? Where would you go? Your mother's? Uh, about this closet. The largest you've ever seen, wouldn't you say? I'm not so sure. I don't think I could fit much in there. A skeptic? <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> Allow me then to demonstrate. Just one side of this closet can house a full-bodied man such as myself, with space to spare. Voila! Why... What in the... Mr. Harvey, uh, the door appears to be jammed. <laughs> Could I trouble you for assistance? Uh-oh, it's really stuck. Not to worry. Very common with these older units. <laughs> Try sliding this into the latch, would you please? It's not working. Uh, hold tight. I'm gonna go get help. Oh, um... All right. <laughs> please do hurry, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> Spacious though it is. I fear I failed to inspect this closet for mm, bugs and such. <laughs> Looks like a decent selection. I'm not much for cigars, but a cigar cutter might come in handy. I'll just cut my photo off the back cover. I have plenty more copies of this thing. It's a sticky wax statue of a town historic figure. Your pointing days are at an end, I'm afraid.
the usual kitchen equipment. That seems pointless. I've stuck the wax to the back of the photo. I'll consider it a minor miracle if this fools anyone. Found my badge. It was under my bed. Hand it over. <sighs> was that really so hard? Now what was it that you even needed? The address of a woman named Lena. Last name? Um, not sure. The <laughs> telegram with the requisition was smudged. Ah, <sighs> typical. Just a moment. Ah, <sighs> it's always something with these guys. Where the hell was that binder? Lucky for you, there's only one Lena in our records. You have a map? There you go. And hey, what a coincidence, it's finally quitting time. Wait, uh, which side of the street is... Never mind, I'll figure it out. Oh, I should have held on to that umbrella. I better hurry. This has to be the place. Seems obvious now that I'm here. I don't see anyone around, including the sheriff. Time to get some answers. Hello? Lena? No one's here, as usual. Lena? There's no oil in it to light. I don't see the point. Drafty and unremarkable. Another radio. Could it show me what happened in here? Only one way to find out. Now, where are you, Lena? Help! Let me go! I can't help you! I, I see strands. And something. Something's coming. Something's coming to kill us! 